I'm going to let you in on a local secret hiking spot. Today we're going to be walking the Half Moon Bay section of the California Coastal Trail. This nine mile section hugs the coastline with spectacular views of the Pacific Ocean. We're going to start here at the Ritz Carlton, which is in the southern end of the city of Half Moon Bay, and walk northwards until we end at Mavericks Beach, which is home to the world famous Mavericks Surfing Competition. So if you're walking at a steady pace, that's about three hours. I'll stop off along the way and show you some points where you can catch the trail, and that way you can customize the hike to your liking. I like starting and ending at the Ritz Carlton so I can have a post-hike drink on their scenic lawn. Pro tip, they provide 25 free public parking spots, just let the gate attendant know. We won't head south as it only goes a mile before dead ending onto private property. If you're interested in marine life, Midway is Pelican Point Beach, which accesses fantastic tide pools you can explore at low tide. Walk north on the beach until you're directly below the Ritz Carlton. There are all sorts of fascinating anemones, barnacles, small crustaceans, and seaweed. Beginning our hike, northbound will first take you through Arnold Palmer's Old Course. Over here, the path is nicely paved and great for all hiking levels, although you will need to share the path with the occasional golf cart. About a half mile down, you'll arrive at Redondo Beach. This secluded beach has a small, free parking lot, and the intersecting trail can be accessed from Redondo Beach Road from Cabrillo Highway. This beach doesn't have stairs, as you can see. The way down is to scramble through these natural crevices, so it's not super easy. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're pretty physically agile. You can also access this beach by walking across the shore from Pelican Beach during low tide. You see the little tadpoles and other creatures wriggling about. Past Redondo Beach, the paved road ends and you're going to get dirt roads like this. So it's probably not recommended if you've got walking disabilities. Uh, and I'd also recommend wearing pretty sturdy walking shoes for this portion. The trail continues through the Wavecrest Open Space, which is a nature preserve trust. The space was specifically designated for the preservation of raptors, which are birds of prey. And we have several species here in California. The raptors migrate here during the winter time, so you'll probably not see any unless you're here during that season. Just to prove me wrong, three hawks just flew by. I think they're either black hawks or zone tail hawks. This portion of the trail also has an incredible variety of wildflowers. Since it's spring after a record wet winter, we are experiencing a rare super bloom where there is an unusually active explosion of blooming vegetation. These super blooms happen maybe once in a decade. At this point, we've reached a lookout above Poplar Beach and you're gonna start seeing some bicyclists around here. This is Poplar Beach. It's a pretty popular beach for residents. You'll often find families hanging out here on the weekends, out walking their dogs or exercising their horses. There's a larger paid parking lot here accessible via Poplar Street from Cabrillo Highway that also intersects the trail. So the trail continues this way for another three quarters of a mile until you hit the main Half Moon Bay State Beach. Bay State Beach is actually comprised of four separate beaches over a four mile stretch. We're coming up to the first one, Francis Beach, and beyond that you've got Venice Beach, Dune Beach, and lastly Roosevelt Beach to the north. Unfortunately, dogs are not allowed on the beaches. The dogs are okay if you stick to the trail and keep them on leash. The nice thing about this part of the coastline is that the bluffs are quite short and there's pretty easy beach access. From the parking lot, this is the access down to Francis Beach. There's a little picnic area as well that's open to the general public. Francis Beach also has a campsite, and this is going to be the only campsite you're going to find off the entire Half Moon Bay uh, trail. So there are two ways to proceed. This way you can't bring your dog or your bike, unfortunately. It's the nicer way and closer towards the ocean. What you're going to do is come through the campground until you see the Littlewood Amphitheater, and off of this is a roped pathway that takes you across the beach. If you have a dog, stick to the paved trail that fronts the campground parking lot. 
This will take you a little bit further inland from the coastline, but it's still a really beautiful walk. Here we're crossing Pillar Citos Creek, which is an important freshwater source for the birds. We're approaching Venice Beach, which also has a large parking lot accessible via Venice Boulevard near Seahorse Ranch. So it's a pretty small beach, very shallow, and at high tide it all but disappears. There's easy stair access down, and Frenchman's Creek also cuts across portions of it. Dunes Beach is right next door. The bluffs above are capped with soft sand dunes, which gives the beach its name. It's a small beach also, and there's also another large parking lot here you can enter from Young Avenue. We're going to keep going down this trail to get to Roosevelt. Once you start approaching Roosevelt Beach, the nature hike portion of this trail ends and it starts becoming a lot more suburban down there. So it's a natural turnaround point. If you decide that you're going to continue, then I will see you in the next part of the video.